Whenever you want to edit your Weebly site, you will need to go to we students.weebly.com. This will open to Weebly for Education website. Here, you'll place your username that your teacher gave you and your password that your teacher gave you. You can also change this password at a later point. When you're first creating your Weebly for Education website, it'll prompt you automatically to choose a domain name. This is your URL that you'll use to find your website on the web. This you'll want to be cohesive with the rest of your website. I'm going to create a photography website, so I'm going to name it jdoephoto.weebly.com. All Weebly for Education websites will have the end.weebly.com. When you first open your web page, it'll give you some introduction tutorials. We're going to pass through those and go right to our next step. On the left hand side, you'll see you have editing selections here, as well as a menu up top. We're going to use that menu to go to the design section, which is where we're going to change your website theme. You can do this by changing your current theme with the color selections here, the fonts, or the background. We're going to choose a new theme altogether. Weebly does a great job at providing a variety of different theme options, so you want to think about how you're going to use your website, what you're going to use it for, and what sort of readers you want to attract to your website. As a photography site, I'm going to look for an, one that has a large photo in the front where I can showcase my photography. And I'm going to choose this one here. When I hover over the image, I can choose different colors for my theme, I can preview my theme, or I can just choose my theme. When you choose your theme, it's going to change the look of your website, which is on this main screen. This is your first page of your website, your home page. Thanks for watching from TeachEatTravel.com.